Welcome back to the channel Super Academico and Blue Eye Patch. Let us begin the reading of my book Cluter's Mare Pot Beyond the Cloud. Today we will read the beginning of the chapter 1. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Let's go. Chapter 1. A Blog and a Summer Love The city I live in is like any city. There are people buildings, workers and students. I am one of the elementary school students. I study in a very well-respected private school and my parents work very hard so I can be there. Many important people also keep their kids there. Or at least they try. The level of demand is great and not everyone can keep up. We also have traffic, beaches and many malls. The meeting point for fun of my generation. In fact, it is an inheritance of the previous generation because mine meets itself through the digital world. The famous internet cloud, which connects servers around the world and connects people, information and everything else that gives life meaning to our 21st century world. That's why they call us cluders, an English expression that derives from the cloud cloud, in use now on every other language there is. Note, like many others English words, everyone takes it from the way it came like the word internet itself. That summer brought new things to the school life and mine too. Cool and smart girls like me should not think about it, but I could not help noticing his perfect skin face coming through the door of our classroom, a sad and penetrating look that captivated me in its entirety. The new boy who arrived in the city and our school coming from not far away, wrapped in mystery and unexpectedly exchanging glances with me. Who could have imagined that? I, who barely appeared on the center of conversations, who would sit in a corner with some friends and concentrate on my studies, catching the attention of that handsome boy. Mare is my name and being a blogger was my bid. I hope it does not disappoint you, dear readers, but this introduction is just my way of speaking about a special moment for me, but under the effect of the first Twilight Saga movie. I was 14 years old and had watched the movie about five times. I posted my review of it on my blog and I was with Edward Cullen in my head as a male beauty model. Note. This was before the second movie, New Moon, debuting and showing that Jacob was much cuter. Then, returning to the entrance of Marcos Freitas in the classroom that day, he walked slowly with a mixture of shyness and indifference to everything. His piercing gaze met mine from time to time and I felt like Bella, as if crossed over by fate to keep that figure out of the sweetest romances. But the reality of school life came back to remind me that movies are movies. Mare, did you do the work I asked for? Asked the literature teacher. Yes, I did. And the days passed by. Our school was considered one of the top 10 schools in the state. The standard test scores were always good. I guess that's why we always had new students trying to get into it. Marcos Freitas was the new student of that season, but it would not be like all the others that had already appeared in our previous classes. One of the trends that guarantee the quality of our school is the demand from our teachers that charge us the fulfillment of many tasks. It may seem contradictory, but the more flexible is the school with the rules with students the more it tends to have young people without self-control. Our families are keen to put us in a school where the rules are met. This forces us to study and much, otherwise we are invited to change schools. After two weeks since Marcos Freitas joined the class, an incident eventually caught his attention for everyone in the class, far beyond his appearance to the girls. Being a little older he also got attention from the boys in the class, who wanted him in their various groups. He had been late for the science teacher's class. Upon entering the room without asking permission and sitting in the back, the teacher came to have it out with him. Aren't you going to ask permission to enter the room, Mr. Marcos? Sorry, teacher. I didn't want to interrupt your explanation on evolution theory. Oh, so you know what I was talking about? Yes, I know. Natural selection and mutation. That's right. I hope this doesn't happen again. No delays for my class. She turns to continue the lesson and he glances around with some satisfaction. I felt him stop and looking a few more seconds at me. In the break time there was no mention of anything else. The novice student had been able to face the great doctor of science. Always so strict with everyone about deadlines, punctuality and discipline, she ended up having to bend over to Marcos's argument when he was asked about the delay and discreet entry into the room. He seemed unshakable in the face of the situation. It did not seem normal for a young man of that age to be so sure of himself. This only added to the mystery surrounding him, which declined further in the following days as he began to walk with the other boys of the class and seemed to be just another one. 
However, those apparent aspects of his personality would be essential for the understanding of what was to come in our lives. Note. More days passed by and the girls started talking about Marcos more and more often. It seemed like soon enough some of them would hook the new guy. Who would it be? Teenage blogs was not yet a fever at that time. Today you just need to access any large media portal online and they have a lot of youth blogs talking to young people on the most diverse subjects. Dating, work, school, drugs, movies, books, sex, politics, travel, advice, and even bullying. Curiously, the interest of people of my age at that time for reading blogs has changed a lot because today everyone already has access to high-speed mobile internet. Today is the era of smartphones and teen stars are the YouTubers. But at that time it was still an alternative novelty, something rebellious for free expression of young opinions. My blog was not revolutionary at all. It was just to share things of common interest to us all. In the case of films and reviews, it was very timely. I was lucky and I think I'm a bit talented to write so attractively to guys in my age at the time. I would never have imagined the effects it would have in my future. And much less for all the people in the world too. Note, it may seem pretentious to say this now, but it will soon become clearer. Returning to my blog, strange comments began to appear about a kind of a ghost that appeared and appeared in several schools and in various classrooms in the city. All because of my review of the Twilight movie. I did not really care about that at the moment because I was more interested in getting to know Marcos a little better. We formed some study groups in geography class. The teacher's objective was for each team to present some physical, economic, and social data from different regions of the country. My group stayed with the South region and we met over the course of a week to get the job done. It was a very nice socialization opportunity because the teacher made a mixture in the teams to avoid that vicious cliques were formed. All teachers always say that it's important to vary who you work with because in the professional life there is not much choice about who we will work with. At first some people were surprised to be in the company of little-known colleagues, but we ended up getting to know each other. In particular, of course, I had the luck and opportunity to be on the same team with Marcos. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels and like and share the video. Bye.